Good morning, I'm James Preston for Cowkine TV, live from Sydney, and this is The Early Trades. Let's get started with our early session commentary. The S&P ASX 200 is down just 5.9 points today. The bottom performing stocks in this index are GUD, which is down 9.06%, and Janus Henderson Group, which is down by 3.84%. The index has lost 2.02% for the last five days, but has gained 10.07% in the year to date. The S&P ASX 200 has fallen for three straight months and may retest Monday's lows if today's sell-off gains traction. Dip buyers entered when the benchmark dropped below 7,200 points two days ago. The tech, energy, real estate and utility sectors are all falling. The only two sectors in the black are healthcare and materials. Among the miners, BHP, Fortescue and Rio Tinto are all trading higher though. In the healthcare sector, CSL is up by 1%, with Sonic Healthcare adding 0.7%. Santos is down 1.2% in the energy space after oil prices slumped to three-month lows, and with lending giant Afterpay also seeing a loss, down 1.4% to 107 Aussie dollars and 33 cents. All 11 US sectors lost at least 0.09%. The two sectors with the biggest market weighting here, materials, shed 2.48% and financials, which shed 2.41%. A dive in rates helped cushion growth stocks. The tech sector was the pick of a rotten bunch with a loss of 0.96%. And the New York Stock Exchange ARK Gold Bugs Index finished little changed, down by 0.03%. Coming back now to the ASX though, and trading volumes hit a two and a half month high yesterday during the end of the month rebalance, but are likely to dwindle in the run down to Christmas. The prospects for a Santa rally appear to depend very much on an improved news flow. The September quarter GDP report is today's domestic wildcard, and economists anticipate the economy contracted 2.7% under the effects of prolonged lockdowns in New South Wales, Victoria and also the ACT. Given the volatility of lockdown affected data, a surprise in either direction is highly possible. In terms of IPOs, Cosmos Exploration is listing as of about two minutes ago at 12pm. Cosmos is a copper gold nickel explorer with projects in New South Wales and Western Australia. Additionally, Sinlate Milk will also hold its AGM today. And the dollar was dragged a little bit lower as part of a general retreat from risk. The Aussie dollar was down 0.22% at 71.29 US cents. Time now for a very quick break on the early trades. Back with more in just a moment on Calkine TV. Tune in to stay updated while on the move. We will tell you where the crypto craze has reached. Where the property market is headed next. What the world is doing to become more environmentally friendly. Apart from tracking the daily market charter. Be on top of the latest news and announcements with Calkine TV. Thanks for joining us on Kalkine TV. James Preston with you for the early trades. Let's now turn our attention to some ASX listed companies that are in the news today. ANZ Bank has announced that it's set to face a class action from law firm Fee Finney McDonald, covering certain credit card holders over the period from July 2010 to January 2019. The bank said the class action alleges ANZ's, or ANZ's credit card contracts contravene the Australian Securities and Investments Commission Act. ANZ shares are down by 0.2% to $26.65 in early trade. Metal detector and wireless communications business Coden has announced plans to acquire the UK-based company Broadcast Wireless Systems for an upfront payment of $3.7 million and up to another $4.8 million if earnout targets are met. It said the deal will be an earnings per share accretive from day one. Coden shares are down 8% over the past year and last closed at $9.74. Charter Hall REIT is also set to acquire a 49% interest in 20 Ampole Fuel and Convenience Retail Centres for $50.5 million on a 5% cap rate. The deal will be funded by existing debt facilities 
and is expected to leave pro forma gearing at 34%. Charter Hall REIT also said it now expects financial year 2022's earnings per unit to finish at the top of its prior guidance range between 27.2 cents per share and 28.2 cents per share. Full-year dividends are expected to be no less than 24.3 cents a unit. And troubled casino operator Crown Resorts has officially appointed Dr Ziggy Swikoski as its new chairman following the receipt of all required regulatory approvals. Swikoski replaces interim chairwoman Jane Halton and Crown is of course the subject of a takeover offer from private equity group Blackstone valuing it at $12.50 per share with shares having last closed at $11.02. Salesforce shares have also tumbled in the after hours this morning after the CRM platform and owner of Slack Technologies guidance for the 2022 financial year said that their revenues were missed from analyst estimates, which is of course poor news for the company. All right, well that's all for now. Stay tuned to Calkine TV for the latest market updates, business news and exclusive interviews. I'm James Preston, signing off for now.